Hey friends, Christy here from Crafty Christy's Creations, and as promised last week, uh, we are going to go over how to make simple layered mandalas. So if you missed last week's where I showed you how to make a mandala, I will link that below. And then we're going to take it a step further this week and go ahead and uh, turn it into a layered paper craft. So I've just got a mandala pulled up here, and... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be using the offset. So I've got that clicked and then I'm going to come over here to the offset panel, which is just the star within a star. And we're doing an offset. And then you can come down here and it automatically goes to 0.125. And you can see here where that ends up. And, you know, you can start there or you can make them a little bit thinner depending on how many layers you want to have. So I'm going to make this a bit thinner. So I'm just going to use this down arrow and click that a few times to make this smaller. Okay, so I'm at 0 0.065 and I like the way that looks. And I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And then what we can do is we can click on that offset and then we want to give it a color. This way we can see what we're doing. And then with that one selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit offset again. And from that one, I'm going to do that same um, increment 0 0.065 and hit apply and then I can go ahead and give that one a color and then you can continue doing this as many times as you want so I'm going to do one more and again I like to keep that same one point zero six five and then hit apply and then we can give that one a color as well. I like to give them a color as I go and that just helps me see where things are filling in. And then you can do one more offset here. And again, we're gonna do 0 0.065, apply. blue so let's see we've got one two three four that's five layers so I'm gonna leave it at that and then what I'm gonna do is grab this bottom layer and then I'm actually just going to fill that one in so I'm going to um, kind of click on here actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all the layers and I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a copy of them. So copy and then right click, paste in front and then I'm going to come over here to my modify panel and I'm going to weld that copy together. So you can see now it's just got this is basically the whole backside and then I'm going to use my point editing tool and I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to just hit delete and I'm going to delete all these because I just want this to be the outside layer and I want to fill in all of these gaps to kind of make this back layer um, kind of nice and complete and then really you're only going to see it in these gaps that we're deleting right now because um, everything else will be the same size as our bottom layer. So as we get these finished, okay, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this. I can get rid of my point editing. I'm gonna click on this one, and then I'm gonna come up here up to the top, and I'm gonna send it to the back. 
So now you can see how it's got this other one. Let's give that a different color so you can see better. So now you can see that bottom layer is the same size as this um, darker blue and it's just going to show through the middle. So now we can grab everything. Let's go ahead and just make this bigger. So I'm going to hold shift and alt or option on a Mac to grab all the layers to resize from the center. Oop. And then you have to let go of everything at the same time. Let's try that again. Let go of your mouse first and then we can just center everything to the page. Okay, so the next thing you can do here, as you can see, we've got some of these spots look good and then it gets kind of thin right in here and you've got this one here that is just like not anything. So I'm going to click on that little spot right there. I'm going to double tap and I'm actually going to delete those anchor points right there. So now this is a full color and then you can go through and see if you need to do that. Here's another little spot. I'm going to do that because I don't really need it to cut those tiny little holes. I don't know that that's going to do me any good. So I'm just going to get rid of them. So this was a hand drawn mandala that I made in procreate. So that's why some of these spots aren't, um, you know, they're not completely symmetrical and you've got some um, areas that are a little off compared to other spots. So now that I've got all that done, so let's go ahead and actually now I'm going to make it smaller again. So I'm going to grab all my layers. Again, shift and alt or option on a Mac. I'm going to resize that a little bit smaller. And then we're going to peel apart all the layers. So click off and then you can click back on. And now you can see that's your top layer. Here's your next one. Here's your next one. And like you can see this layer's got tiny little dots in there. You can certainly just go through and clean that up and get rid of those using that point editing. Same with this one. You could do that here. You've got this one and then your base layer. So that is how you can quickly and easily make a basic layered mandala design.